Hey, what is up, guys? This is FNH here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can clone slash copy any website on the internet. All right, it's really simple. Um, you just need this program called HTTrack.com. All right, so you go to this website, HTTrack.com. Go to their download section, right? Um, download whichever one applies to you. Um, you know, definitely if um, either one, just get the recommended one, right? Um, download it the installation is fairly simple um, I already have it downloaded so I won't show that part but once you download it and run the application this is what will show up alright so this is the actual um, application and it's really simple to use um, you'll able to <clears throat> you'll be able to clone any site um, obviously you wouldn't be able to clone the back end part of it just the front end part right um, the front end as well as uh, including JavaScript Okay, so you will be able to get that, um, just nothing on the server side. All right, so the way to use this is, uh, let me just use this WordPress site, for example. Um, let's say I see this site and I really like the theme of it. You know, it, it does some cool things. I like the theme. Um, you know, I really want to use it for my site, right? But I don't know who designed the theme or where it came from right so what you can do is easily go to here press next uh, the project name name it whatever you want I normally just name it whatever the site's name is right um, wherever the location you want to save it uh, put that uh, next hit the next button and here you'll see action so you can do download websites download websites plus questions get separated files download all sites in this pages in the in pages so meaning that it will download the site as well as other sites that are linked in this site which you don't want to do because you know it could lead to a really long time downloading something because you know websites are linking to a bunch of different websites always so um, you want to just stick with download website you know that and then you can do add URL the, if you have a login and password obviously enter that otherwise you can just add it um, you can either add it here as well oops I pressed it twice alright so you have that um, press next um, this is for using remote connection you know if you want to uh, you if you can put a want to put a like a on a hold right um, and schedule it for some other time while you're not using the computer you can set that up also you know obviously if you know if the site is going to take really long to download you can you know just set it up for overnight and then do uh, shut down or disconnect right um, so that's basically it and then you do finish alright so now you can see it's going to the site it's scanning it and then uh, downloading it over here you know so this will probably take some time um, so you you probably want to put it on pause and then come back later but um, I just want to say one thing um, it does not it, it might not work for certain sites mainly because they do not allow it to be um, parsed in this way since it did it this is an automatic automated uh, you know service running to basically go through all the websites all the pages on a website some uh, sites block that right so you gotta make sure you have a site that doesn't block that so you can see that this one doesn't so while that's happening I can show you over here so this is my websites folder over here and you can see the website here the folder and this is basically the site in here alright so we can see over here these are all this is a WordPress site obviously right uh, and includes all these files so let's just go back let me wait a couple more seconds and then I'll cancel it right and then I'll show you the site so obviously um, it's not going to be able to download everything but whatever it has downloaded already you'll be able to see it which is pretty good so it's not like it has to download the whole thing or nothing you can do some of it if you have what you need then you can just leave it at that alright um, so yeah let me just cancel it right here so when you, when you want to cancel it sometimes uh, you have to press it twice for some reason 
All right, so you know you can see I canceled this, so there are probably some errors over here. So yeah, let's ignore that. Let's open the site, and there it is. You can see um, on top. You can see over here. Uh, that's from my local file, right? Um, and you can basically see that is this whole site. Let's go to a different page. Okay, I so it, it is kind of messed up. You can see it just reloading over and over again. That's probably something because I canceled it midway or just something about this site. But you can see this is basically it. Um, you know, you can see the the actual what is this? Let's go to this location 2009 07 06. You can see that's the actual page, and you know we can also right-click, uh, open with. Let's, let's do some kind of notepad and basically see what's inside this file, just to show you guys that there will be code inside this. Well, basic HTML in this case. So that's basically the HTML of that page. Okay, so the simple storage service day three, and all these files. Okay, so. You can see that, and every page does have a watermark, so you know just be cautious of that. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments on you know on how to use this, um, definitely leave it down below. I'd love to help you guys out on how to properly set it up and use it. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.